Yorkshire School says it's installing the CCTV cameras in the toilets to tackle antisocial behaviour and bullying. The cameras at Headland School in Bridlington won't be pointing at cubicles and urinals, and assurances have been given that student privacy will be respected. Simon Spark reports. This is what the view from CCTV cameras in the Headland School toilets will look like. The school have taken the measures after consulting with parents by letter last month. It said, it has become evident that there have been incidents of vandalism, smoking and sadly some acts of unkindness in and around the student toilet areas. These areas have become an environment where some of our students feel vulnerable. But one parent we spoke to didn't think one letter was enough. And we've got a brief questionnaire, are you in favour or are you not? And that was all you got. And I think this should give us more information. In 2012, 206 schools had a total of 825 cameras in changing rooms and bathrooms, according to a report by Big Brother Watch. Their report highlighted concerns over who views these images and whether children were becoming acclimatised to surveillance becoming the norm. I think it's absolutely disgraceful. I mean, no doubt the school will say that it needs CCTV cameras in the school toilets because of bullying and, and various antisocial behaviour. Well, my answer to that is sort out the bullying and the antisocial behaviour. We're talking about children's privacy here. Uh, they shouldn't be filmed as they're going into the toilet, and I'm sure that, uh, that none of us would want the same. But some East Riding councillors say there's nothing wrong with what the school is doing. I don't think there's anything... Um sinister about the, the fact they've put camera they're going to put cameras in there uh, it's just a question of uh, stopping any mis misbehavior by a few children hesel high school has had cctv in toilet areas for the last 10 years they say it's there to keep students safe it's still being utilized and has been successful the east riding of yorkshire council also agree saying any strategy which leads to greater safety and security for children and which the school judges to be appropriate, is to be supported. Simon Spark, BBC Look North, Bridlington. Yeah, we'll be asking for your views on this one uh, in just a moment. And by the way, we did ask Headland School to speak to us today, but nobody was available. Now, earlier this afternoon, I asked Cloud Knights from the anti-bullying charity Kidscape whether she agreed with the use of cameras in the schools in this way. I think to be using them in toilets does cause concern, but we have to look at you know, why we would be doing this. But I assume you welcome it if it's going to stop uh, and help mm. bullying and mm. children feeling vulnerable, which is what is happening here. Absolutely. A lot of people would just be alarmed and not look at the issues. Yes, we do know in this day and age still that so much bullying and antisocial behaviour, vandalism and so on, happens in areas that teachers don't go into. And of course, you know, there are separate toilets for teachers and pupils. I mean, the Freedom Association said to us this afternoon, this is a disgusting, I quote, invasion of these mm. young people's privacy. Mm. What do you say to that? I think we have to weigh up the difference between someone's privacy and someone's safety. And I think we have to really concentrate on the safety elements. But I would say that CCTV cameras in toilets isn't enough. We wouldn't want them to be a sense of false security, for instance. I mean, in front of me here, I've got a head uh, teacher's letter to the parents saying, mm. I want our students to be able to use these facilities, meaning the toilets, without fear of intimidation. Absolutely. And I mean, we work with children who have huge health problems because they, they you know, they're frightened of going to the toilet. And that can obviously lead to many uh, stomach problems and other things. So we do want to make every part of the school safe and especially such a such a place and, as a toilet. And final question, do you think parents watching tonight will be shocked about CCTV in toilets or couldn't care less? I, I think they, many of them will know about it and many of them will be hoping that this is part of a holistic programme, that we're not just putting a mechanical object in a toilet, we want to actually uh, cultivate greater understanding. I think that's the key and great, greater tolerance. Very good to talk to you tonight. Thank, Claude, you. thank you very thank much you. indeed.